Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Blessings and peace to you all. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, King of King, Lord of Lords, Savior of the earth and the world. There is no other name that you will be saved by. It's by Jesus Christ. He died for our sins. He reconciled the world back to him by his bloodshed and his sacrifice. He was a perfect sacrifice. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is our Lord and our God. And I believe in Him and I trust in Him. And I'm going to continue to send the word to you guys, share the word with you. You know, pray for me as I go through my journey, you know, in my walk. And I'll pray for you guys as well and encourage you and give you, uh, you know, all my prayers and all my blessings to you guys. Um, you know, I just want to want you guys to let you know that I love you. I truly do. And I, I don't do this just for myself. I do this for all of us because we all need to be guided by the word and be led by the Holy Spirit. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ is our guiding light. And um, I'm going to continue to serve him for the rest of my life. But I just want to drop a quick word with you guys today from uh, this is from Second Corinthians. Uh, we're going to go through. 2 Corinthians 1, 3, and 4 today. And it says, the first the first part of the verse, it says, on 3, it says, Blessed be God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of our mercies, God of all comfort. So you want to give thanks to him, praise to him, as always. Um, and as Paul says in this letter, so, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in affliction with comfort, it, with which we ourselves are comforted by God. So many times when we go through things, when we're tested in a fire, when the Most High God puts us through different scenarios and tests in our life, we have a whole bunch of things that we have to deal with, right? But through all of that adversity, all the conflict, all the life uh, things that are thrown at us, He still comforts us because we believe, we trust in Him, we have the Holy Spirit. That is our comforter, that is our advocator. He gives us strength when we're weak. When we don't, we don't have the energy to go. When we feel like life is overwhelming, where we you we have to we have to continue. The more we grow in Christ, the more we depend on Him. The more He He comforts us. He enables us to be able to go through t trials and tribulations and tests. That's why He said that He would not leave us alone. That's why they sent the Holy Spirit. He sent the Holy Spirit for us to comfort us. So when we are living in the Holy Spirit, we have the Holy Spirit within us, right? Then we can reach, then when other people are suffering, other people, there's a lot of people who don't have Christ and they don't know the Holy Spirit. They have no understanding of what the, they don't have a relationship with the Most High. That's why he puts us in a position to be able to counsel and to help those other people, you know, random people, even believers and strengthen them, you know, because we've been tested. We've been guided. We've been comforted with his love and his press, his grace in his mercy and we are to extend that to our neighbors as well you know that's what he was addressing in the, the second letter to the corinthians in this section here so what what that means is you know god has given us grace he's given us comfort and protection through our trials and tribulations then we should be used effectively for that as well with the holy spirit within us to help other people guide them and lead them too so they can have that comfort and that peace and that that warmth, the, the love of God, you know, the agape love, that unconditional love without expecting anything back, you know, not selfish, not greedy, not prideful, you know, not self-centered, but, you know, those are the gifts of the Holy Spirit that we have. We have love, and love is a is a Holy Spirit. It's a gift from the Holy Spirit. You know, it's, it's what you have, true love, is when you have when you have it from the most high when you when you look at all your life situations and you look at all the things that you went through and you understand that there's only through his grace you know that we have we have a chance to be able to live this life and to enjoy the the relationship that we have once we become born again through Christ again so it's a daily process it's a daily walk you're not going to get it together every single day you're not going to have it all together you never will that's why we have to rely and trust in him and abide in him in all things, you know, stay in his word, stay in his will. Anything that goes contrary to his word, 
is false and don't be deceived by it because there's a lot of deception going on and the devil is using trickery at the highest level right now but you know my prayer for you guys is to stay encouraged stay strong use what the most high is giving you through the holy spirit to be here to carry his message and share it with others and be a light you know be a light to someone help somebody encourage them lift them up give them a positive word give them a good word to listen to what they're saying you know try to help them lift people up you know don't tear them down build people up and stay encouraged and if you fall you know get back up keep on moving you know it's not over with you know long as you have the, the most high is giving you air in your lungs you should be able to be able to get it right and keep on going you're not going to have it perfect you're not going to give it completely right but your goal is to continue to strive and be set apart and live through the holy spirit every single day to glorify the most high the lord jesus christ Yahusha. so that's my word for you guys today i uh, pray that this blesses you pray that you guys stay encouraged and um stay strong continue to trust in the lord jesus christ and never give up love you guys peace shalom shalom peace